Junior right now and so first step today is Saturday and it's about one week until homecoming which is next Saturday so we're starting with finishing taking out my braid I took out half last night and we're gonna um, finish taking out the other half today <laughs> guys um don't wear my hair just took it out but now we're looking at ponytails because this is what i'm gonna do but here's what they they have like a bunch straight ones curly ones wavy ones all of the types so we're gonna see and look now okay guys we're oh my gosh we're back from mickey's that's the beauty hair supply store that we were at. So this is what I got. This is the ponytail I picked. This is what she looks like. So cute. So this is what I'm going to be getting styled when I go next Saturday. I just got these nails. Um, also don't mind the background noise. But these nails. So I'm going to get these off tomorrow and put these on. These just some minimal ones. Not too long. And then I got some glue to stick them on I guess so that is what I got so yeah <laughs> okay you guys so I just got back from getting my facial done um I got my nails off so this is what they look like and then I got my toes done white classic pedicure this is my face afterwards. You can definitely see where she did all of the extracting out of my face. Um, so with that being done, I'm not allowed to put anything on my face for two days. So as it's like healing, cause right now, as you can see, I have a lot of redness and you can see basically all the blemishes on my face, which is very, very cute. And when I go to school, people are gonna be like, oh, she really broke out, but just just the thing but i also went to dollar tree and i got a few headbands for my hair to do this um week before i get it done i'm going to do my self-care routine later tonight so i will show you guys that again um i don't remember the last time i showed you guys that and that's pretty much it on day two of the prep and prepare for homecoming hey guys so some free shower products that i use are um this this is my dr teal's bath foaming bath gel thing it's really good it smells really good bubbles all of that this is for the bath essentially then we have this this is an electric waterproof razor i love this thing it's so good um i got it off of amazon this is the little brand um but it works really good and i use this to shave basically everything then this is the body wash slash bubble bath I've been using. Um, I got this from Burlington. Um, but it's really good, obviously. You can see I used almost all of it. Um, so that, and then I like to use a Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. This one's in the Tropical Glow. This is um, one of the, my favorite scents. Um, I really like this one. So those are the things that I use in the bath. So let's go ahead and run it now. Okay guys, so I'm now out of the shower. Just wanted to show you guys my little routine for after shower, post shower. I use these two products. I use this powder. This is like after shower deodorant. So I use this for my armpits and I'm not really a heavy sweater. So this holds me throughout the night. And then I use the EOS 24 hour moisture lotion. This one is so good. I love the scent. This is Jasmine Peach 
love it smells so good so cute um so these are pretty much the only two things that i use at night but now we're gonna get into my after shower skincare and so since i got extraction today i won't be doing all my cleansing um that i would usually do on my face so since she already cleansed it earlier today i'm not going to wash my face at all don't say oh uh. gosh this facial took about an hour so i know my face is extra clean so we're gonna move into other things that i do so you guys have seen me use these before i love these things these are so good i haven't done treatments in about two weeks so my teeth are a little bit yellow i did a treatment last night i'm gonna do another one tonight um just to prep for homecoming also this is like a little prep preparatory thing this weekend and then i'll probably do one the day of the dance but this is just to get my teeth a little bit whiter of course we only let them sit on for 30 minutes is the recommended time i don't know well um but now we're gonna set a 30 minute timer and while that's going we're also going to clean our ears guys use q-tips um this may be a little nastier segment so i'm probably gonna cut this out try to clean my ears at least once a week but you should clean them like every other day but <laughs> okay and that's pretty much all i do sometimes i shave my face clean up my eyebrows and stuff but they're looking pretty okay right now and then obviously in the shower i did a full body shave exfoliate all that stuff also it is homecoming week of course so this is going to be my fit for tomorrow i'm wearing this shirt this shirt is from five below i believe and then these these pants are actually also from five below so this was a whole five below fit super comfortable as you can tell it's pj day so i will be wearing what i'm sleeping in tomorrow but that's pretty much all for today's portion of the glow up So it's a couple days later. It is Friday and today is the homecoming game. So I thought I'd do a little quick get ready with me. I have to leave in about one hour. So I just showered. I changed into my little outfit. It's white out. So I'm wearing this white top. It's a cropped at the bottom and then some gray leggings. But we're going to do my hair and a little bit of makeup. So first I'm going to talk on my hair real quick. But also I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit of like homecoming advice as someone who this is my third time going to homecoming. So I would say like ranking my homecoming so far, the two that I've been to, I would say that freshman year was better than sophomore year 100%. I feel like when you're a freshman, you're getting that first experience. So I feel like it's usually good for everyone freshman year but mine was just really great you know first experience it was really good music was good people who attended were good pre-dinner pictures were good so like overall i would rate it like a 10 out of 10 really like i feel like you definitely should experience going your freshman year because that's like your first one um and you know there's just so many things to experience um but then moving on to sophomore year, it was low-key very bad. And I feel like coming right out of freshman, you know, you're happy you're not a freshman anymore. You're like, hey, I'm a big sophomore, whatever, whatever. And so I feel like when you go, you actually see what the freshmen look like. So you kind of see what you may have looked like last year. And you're kind of just like, oh, this is like a freshman field day, as we call it. And low-key, it was really boring for me. It was just a really a bunch of freshmen. Not really any other classes were there. So, you know, it was just kind of on the boring side of the spectrum. Um, but I would definitely recommend to be social and, you know, experiment with, you know, going at least once. You should go to at least one of your homecomings because you have four tries to go. I would definitely recommend going freshman year and senior year. I haven't experienced senior year, but I feel like, you know, your first and last um, is just like logical. So I would recommend that. 
but I think homecoming is just a really big social event and that even if you're not social you can always go and you know make friends you know just I feel like when you go to things like this everyone's kind of cool with each other if that makes sense like you're just able to be around anyone and still have a good time so I think that's just super important when thinking about the dance and things like that but today is the homecoming game so if you guys are freshmen or are new to this this is your first one definitely go it's always a fun you know social event again and um you know just go support your team do the theme you know white out everyone's supposed to be wearing some type of white my school has a thing called homecoming court where like the senior girls they get dressed up in like really nice dresses and walk across the football stadium and they get to drive around in convertibles and all those things so i think that's super cool and something that you should definitely experience um and yeah i mean it's just a really really big social event at the end of the day and if you're not so social or you don't really have a social life this is the best way to kind of start one you can meet people from the other team you can go over and socialize with them you can try to talk to people that are from your school you know that you're actually gonna see you know next week um but it's just really really important i think in your high school life to at least get something out of it and i feel like everyone goes to the homecoming game so this is like the perfect opportunity to go and show school spirit but this is my hair um i just did some fingerling curls wet it with this is rosemary water and then just use some eco style gel but that's pretty much it i'll probably touch it up before i go and kind of get it curly again because it kind of puffs up pretty quickly but we're gonna go ahead and move on to my makeup. Okay guys, so it is a little bit later today. I haven't really been filming because it's been really hectic. I did get my hair done, so I got a little ponytail. It's so cute. And then my mom just did my lashes for me. Now we're gonna get into the makeup part. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just put some whitening strips in. So if I'm talking weird, that's why. First off, we're gonna do our brows as always. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. soap brow. It's currently 310. So I have about an hour and a half to finish up, which that's good so I can take my full time, especially when recording, because that takes a little bit longer. I'll tell you guys the plan for the rest of the night. So after I finish getting ready, the latest I plan to be out of the house is 4.30. And that's because I'm going to be going to take some solo pictures, not with a special photographer or anything like that, just with my mom. And we're gonna go up to a spot and take some pictures, you know, for the Instagram. After I take pictures at 4.30, you know, that may take, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We are going to head to where I'm meeting up with my group to get dinner and take group pictures. So we're going to this um, restaurant called Frank's Old Mill. It's a group of seven, I can't do math. It's three boys and four girls. So we're gonna meet there. We're gonna meet there at 5.30, take some pics at the restaurant first, and then our reservation is for 6.15. So we have a good two hours, um, I would say, to eat because the dance doesn't start until eight, I believe. So, you know, we don't have to be right on time, but we have about two hours to eat. Dance from eight to 10.30. That's it for brows, just really simple, really easy. We're gonna use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I just normally do this on the back of my hand. And then I'll mix it in with the Say Glowy Dew Drops. 
These are amazing. We're gonna let the primer sit for a second and then we're gonna go in with the concealer again. Now we're gonna use the Rare Beauty Concealer and this is in the shade 400W. This one's a little bit more tan than my actual shade right now. And then I'm also going to go under my eyes today um, just to give us a little bit more coverage. Now I'm gonna spray my face to kind of set and let it dry with the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer um, Dewy Setting Spray and we're just gonna do two coats of the spray. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is in the shade, shade five. And this is my tan shade since I am still a little bit tan. I'm just gonna use two dots on each side of my face. We're gonna blend this in with a beauty blender. And this just gives my face like a natural highlight because it's the same shade as my skin. I'm gonna use my buffing brush. This one's really good. Next, we're gonna use bronzer. And this is the Essence Sun Club Luminous Bronzer in Medium. And I usually just dust this all over um, my face to kind of give myself a little bit more bronze. Liquid blush, so I'm gonna do the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Bliss. Same spots, the same brush, because this brush is literally the best. And then I use this Kiko Create Your Balance Contour Boost um, Powder Blush in the shade Tireless Pink. And I use their Face 10 brush. This is why I put my concealer on first so that it has enough time to dry so that when I blend it out, it's really, 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 really seamless. And I approximately have one more hour. So I'm doing really good on time. As Now, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. setting powder in medium, and first I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and go over the specific areas that I had concealer. This just makes it more precise before I go in with my powder puff and kind of set the rest of my face. I'm going to take my highlighting stick from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Ice Cream, and I'm gonna use all over lid brush, and I'm going to get some, and I'm gonna do a little bit on my eyelid for a little bit of shimmer. kind of swipe it and then I use my finger and kind of blend that all the way in. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more and just kind of put it on my nose. We always tap it out. Then we're gonna pop a little bit more in the inner corner. And then we're gonna drag a little bit. 
under the brow. Now we're gonna go in with the powder again with my powder puff. And we're gonna go back over everything. Mainly my T-zone, which is under my eyes, by my nose, my chin, even though I put no makeup there whatsoever. And then my forehead. Now we're gonna take my powder brush that I used early with bronzer and just go back over it, make sure there's no weird clumps or angles or anything like that. It just looks out of place in here. Everyone say hi to mom. Hi. I'm just gonna set the face again with the setting spray. Just blend it up. That's pretty much the look, the look. But yeah. Hey guys, so we are out here. We're taking some pictures right now. Uh, my mom just went, but this is my dress. I think it's super cute. But yeah, we're gonna film some TikToks and take some pictures and then we'll head to get some dinner. Thank you. 